Hey everybody, I thought it was time to make a new video on doing the stamp project for Graphic Design 1. And uh, it's April 2019, I'll be using Photoshop CC 2019. Um, Aretha Franklin died this past year, I guess in the late fall. Pancreatic cancer, it was such a shame. Um, so I'd like to do a series of four stamps to honor her memory. And i just take you through the process. Um, so for starters, we want our pictures to be large enough uh, in order to uh, not be f too fuzzy. So as a minimum size, we would like the length to be at least a thousand pixels. Um, Secondly, if we choose pictures with a simple black or white background, the job of doing your stamp is infinitely easier and the results are far stronger. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to uh, first is to find four uh, horizontal, in my case, stamps right here, or uh, pictures, I mean. So these two are good. You notice how there's a, a busy background out here or here. And although I can deal with that and darken that, I'm going to just keep it real simple. So I'm going to click on that and right click, copy image, and launch Photoshop. Mm -mm. So in the last image, uh, last here, I right-clicked on it and I left-clicked copy image. And that puts 3,000 by 1,700 pixels into memory. So when you go into Photoshop and say create new, it builds a canvas exactly that size. See here, 30, 36 by 1,708 pixels. So hit create and then paste. So that's edit paste or control V. You can see the shortcut for uh, every Photoshop command is right here to the right. Um, now this is a little bit buzzed from camera shake or if she's moving on, on a concert, but that's okay. Um, I'm going to keep it anyway. So let me minimize this and grab a couple more. Um, all right. So this has a dark background also. So I'm going to right click, copy image, Photoshop, control N for file new, create, control V. Now I'm going to keep them all black and white. So I'm going to convert this to grayscale right now. So I'm going to say image, mode, grayscale, and flatten, and discard. There we go. Alrighty, uh, so two more. I'm going to pause it here so I can just go grab two more. Okay, I have four. I'm going to darken this side a little bit. So I'm going to take the lasso and lasso around this side and also up here. And I just uh, lasso around and I held shift down to add to the selection. So I have two selections here. And now it's important to feather this back. And what that means is when I click Select and Mask at the very top here and come over to Feather on the right, it blends it back so that um, it looks like a gradient towards dark. I'm going to next say Image, Adjustment, Brightness, Contrast, and Darken. Okay. And Control D to deselect or select up here, deselect. And that's already dark, that's good. So is that, and so is this. All right, next, we need to get the scallop. And so I'm going to go over to jnevins.com where your syllabus is. Click syllabi. Graphic Design 1, scroll down, and let's see, link to download scallop. Okay, so since I'm doing a horizontal, it's very important, click 
on this to make it large. Then right click copy image and then come over here in Photoshop and Control N or File New, Create again, and Control V to paste it. Great. So I happen to know that if I want an image to fit this exactly without uh, having to um, skew it or change it in any way, that we would use the Crop tool and set the crop up for 1401 by 1085 and notice how uh, there's lines here so I know that I want to put um, her name on the left side here I'm gonna put the price of the stamp in the upper right side so I clicked on her and moved her over then click the check mark and I want to check image size so it's 1401, 1400 would be fine, but I'll leave it at this by 1085 and say OK to that. Since I want to darken this more for the price of the stamp, I'm just going to use the selection again, select and mask, feather it, that's to blend it back, and then image, adjustment, brightness, contrast and take this brightness to the left, just like so. I can do it twice to image, adjustment, brightness, contrast to really give me a place for that price up there. And then deselect. Oops. Okay. Good. So, it's uh, what's going to happen next is the size that I cropped this to will fit perfectly on the scallop. So I'm going to say Control A or Select All, copy it, that would be Edit Copy or Control C, come over to the scallop and paste it in, Control V or Edit Paste, and bingo, see we have a perfect fit for our scallop here. Now if you don't have your rulers out to pull guidelines, hit Control R, Control R if you're using a Mac it's Command R and click and drag a guideline on the left side, top side, right side, and bottom. And you know we want the line for the margin to be equidistant, perfectly even on all four sides. And you know you have that when you see a square in the corner. Okay, great. So I have white in the foreground here and that's how it happens by default. So I'm going to use white type, clicking the type tool, coming up and choosing Ariel, and for her name I want to use bold, and size, I'll start with 90 point and take it from there, and I'm going to type all caps. Aretha Franklin, so that's 90 point bold Ariel. Now I want to rotate this. Never put vertical type down the side. Your, uh, that would only be true in Japan and China and whatnot, Korea. So we're looking at rotating this counterclockwise. So free transform, the shortcut is Control T. And then I want to right click on it and say rotate 90 degrees counterclockwise right here. And then check mark. And a shortcut to the Move tool in the upper left is the letter V. I'm bringing this over and snapping that right into the corner of these two margin lines like that. All right. Um, if I wanted, I could stretch the N because I'm so close, and that would be a nice touch, so that the A and the N fit between these guidelines. So with this type layer selected still, and I'll go back and click on the type tool and then right here this little tab at the very top in the options you click that and then over here where it says VA 90 I'm going to go for a plus value there's 100 um, let's try 150 too much so 130 oops that's 1530 130. 
still too much, so 120. And see a little bit of tweaking here, 123. And that's perfect. So the edge of the N, this way, this way, and the edge of the A, this way and this way are all locked into the guidelines. So now come over here and we're going to make it 55 and make it big and bold. So let's put in, oh, 160 points. Enter. And we'll see if we want to make it bigger. And instead of bold, I think it looks better in regular here. So Ariel, regular, 160, type 55. And I think I'm going to go bigger. So let's raise that up. I have to highlight it first and then make that 200. Good. And now it's stretched and I want to bring it back to a minus value, like minus 50. That's perfect. And we're going to lock that in. So now the top edge of the 55 is aligned with the top edge of the N. And to do the USA under here, I'm going to pull out another guideline. And then click over here and reduce the font size. Let's try um, 90 again. And I have Arial Regular. And I'll type all caps again. USA. Check mark. And let's see how this fits. Okay, I'm going to stretch it now a little bit. So type tool, letter T over here. Highlight it, click and drag. And instead of a minus 50, we're going to go try a plus value here. There's plus 100. It's just a tiny bit wide. So let's try 95, 92, and check mark at the top. All right, perfect. Now we have our template, and we only do this once. So we have her name, we have the, the, everything is in place. Everything is perfectly ready to go now. So let's add another image right over this one. So I'm going to come back over here and click on the crop tool. And I'm looking at where I'm going to put her relative. And I think I'll do something like this. So there's room for the 55 and for her name. And I hit the check mark. And then Control A, Control C, and then back to the master stamp. And I'm going to click on layer two, which is where the picture is, and paste right over that. Control V. And bam, look at that. It fits perfectly. Okay, uh, so let's do number three right here. Notice that on the crop tool, I have W times H times resolution. Okay, so there's a drop down here. So make sure that's on when you put in 1400 by 1085. Again, I'm going to move her so I can uh, have room for her name and the um, 55. Looks like I'm going to darken this a little bit, perhaps. We'll see what it looks like. Control A, Control C, come over here, Control V, boom. See how this edge is pinching a little bit, uh, the E and the T. So I'm going to take the lasso again and lasso around this area. Click Select and Mask at the top and feather it out. Don't worry about. Um, seeing what's under there because we have multiple layers and then image adjustment brightness contrast darken it and again i'll do it twice image adjustment brightness contrast there we go great so we're getting close to the end here one more control a control c we already cropped this one, or no we didn't, I'm sorry. 
so back to the crop tool. Oops, I lost my 1401, 1401, and 1080. And then click on the image and move it where we want it to go. I'm thinking about where the, her name is going to go in the 55 again. Click that, and check image size here. And there it is. So control A, control C, and control V. Whoops, something's wrong. So control Z. It's too large. So let's check that. Um, I think I know it's up. So I'm going to go to image, size, and yep, this happened in class today. There's something about um, selecting it first and then putting the crop over that did that. So I'm just going to put the resolution here to 1, enter. And now we can do it. Control A, Control C, Control V, bam. Notice I have one little pixel that I want to move this down here. So I'm going to take the Move tool, click on it, and use the down arrow to cover up that little black line down here. So great, we're ready to finish this up now. So. To do that, I want to lay these out on one large canvas. It's so important in this project that you get this correct in terms of how all these uh, type elements align, how we're not skewing the picture, how we have equal margins and equal distance to the scallop, um, and just keep it nice and clean and legible like this. So in order to copy all this over to a new canvas, I need to flatten it down. So I'm going to say Layer, Flatten Image into one background, and we need a new canvas to put this on. So File, New, and I'm going to change over here instead of pixels to inches, and I'm going to make this 50 inches wide, 40 inches tall, and 72 DPI. And I don't need color, so I'm going to go grayscale here. 50 by 40 by 72 grayscale and create. And then I'm going to copy all of this with Control A to select all. Copy it, Control C. Come over here and paste it, Control V. And then move it up. And let's rinse and repeat now. So we have to get our layers back. So I want to go Edit, Step Backwards. Alt, Control Z is the shortcut. Do it twice, and now we have all our layers. I'm going to turn the eyeball off on that layer. And then Layer, Flatten Image. OK. Control A, Control C, Control V. And move this in. The Move tool. And snap it right in here. Get equal margins around again. And Alt, Control Z twice. Oops. There we go. I've got, uh, I don't know why that came up, but that is a G-Force. I have a, hmm, I have to pause it here. Sorry about that. I have a special video card in my machine which came up with that, and I got rid of it. So, okay, so it's layer flatten. Okay, control A, control C, control V and move it right there. See the distance here? And it snaps right in. Whoops, I'm sorry, wrong one. Trash that. Back here. Step backwards twice and turn off the eyeball on that layer. Then flatten it. Okay. Control A, Control C, Control V. And I'm going to put her over here. I'm going to put her over here. I'm going to put her over here because she's looking this way, so, and she's looking this way, and she's turning back this way. So I'm bringing them all towards the center here. And step backwards twice. Sorry. Turn off the next eyeball, then layer, flatten image, discard. Control A, Control C, Control V, and snap it in here. I want to get these all aligned in the same distance. And I 
that's looking pretty good. So then layer, flatten that down, and then save this as a JPEG file, save as, and throw it on my desktop, and I'll call it Aretha. Choose, whoops, choose JPEG, and save, whoops, I'm off the screen here. So I'm choosing, I named it Aretha, JPEG, save, I'm putting it to the desktop, and save it at 12 level, and then OK. And that's it. Get to the blog, upload your image to the blog, and um, that's it. See you in the next project.